Hello and welcome to my second vlog for the month of May. It is uh, Thursday the 12th of May 2022 and you have been busy sending me messages and your opinions. Well I waste no more time. Uh, first of all I'd just like to say that on the 12th of May uh, 1910 Dorothy Hodgkins was born and she was a British chemist who won the Nobel Prize for her work with uh, penicillin and uh, vitamin B12. And she also taught Margaret Thatcher, who had a picture of uh, Hodgkins on her desk in her office at number 10. And uh, now, of course, the cry is, what do you think of the new choice for Doctor Who? And uh, and uh, Shuti Gatwa is an excellent choice, in my opinion. Yes, he's young. Yes, he is non-white. Uh, yes, he's actually uh, had a couple of BAFTAs and been nominated for BAFTAs too, so it shows he must have some quality. I think it's wonderful that his heritage is a Rwandan and that his family got away, moved to Scotland, and he's a perfect example of somebody who's taken advantage of a new start in life. Good luck with him. And for those of you who are moaning about him before he's even spoken his first Doctor Who word, a shame on you. And for those of you who feel that it's uh, woke or being politically correct, please don't. You're shaming the work done by Hattie McDaniel, and Sidney Poitier and all the other wonderful non-white actors. So I shall now move on to our beloved Queen. Uh, we had the state opening of Parliament, which is a traditional thing uh, most years, and the Queen attends and she reads out what the Parliament of the day is going to do within the next 12 months. Well, because of her frailty, uh, she chose to hand that over to uh, Charles uh, this time round. There are those who are saying it's a shame that she didn't turn up on a mobility scooter or in a wheelchair. And to a certain level, I agree with you. Uh, but I'm sure there are good reasons why she didn't attend uh, the state opening of Parliament. And I'm hoping that sometime in the future we will see her out and about and we will see her on a mobility scooter. We just uh, need to encourage those who advise her that at the age of 96, she's more than proven uh, uh, her loyalty to the country. And it would not be um, considered uh, a frail thing for us uh, to see her in a wheelchair. It will just highlight our respect for her. Now, talking of respect, <laughs> for those of you outside our shores, what with COVID and um, everything else going on and our Brexit scams, things, uh, people, uh, finances are beginning to pinch. And we do have a state now where there are certain numbers of people who are having to use more and more food banks uh, because they can't really afford uh, to get food uh, and also there's the compounded effect that they need to pay their uh, energy bills which have more than doubled in uh, some cases and we have an MP <laughs> stood up in the House of Commons this week and I've got to quote it uh, Lee Anderson MP blames food poverty on lack of cooking skills well I'm laughing because all that highlights is his lack of understanding of what is actually happening in the real world. Uh, I I would love it that for six months his MP salary, for whatever reason, doesn't land in his bank. Yes, it, and it just goes to show the, the, the MPs we have, some of them have total disrespect for their constituencies. But there we go. I mustn't moan much longer. Uh, what I will say. I had a discovery this week. Discovery. Lynette Yardum uh, Bokeh. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, she's a painter. A British painter of Guyanan uh, descent. And I have seen some of her pictures. Absolutely wonderful. So I recommend that you go and dig her out. And have a look at the work that she produces.
Well, on that, which I hope is a more positive note, I'll say toodle pip. Uh, and uh, if you can help others do, uh, if you need help, be not afraid to ask for it. And above all, find the silver lining.